Welcome, this is the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this uh, dog bark collar training thing. And this is from Fa Fa Frog. I like that name, it's pretty cool. They did send me this product for review, but everything I say in this video is my own opinions, and they have no say in what I say, but they wanted me to show you uh, what it is, what comes with the package, and how it works, and I also tested it out on my dog. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later as well. So first, let's go and see what we're gonna be getting in the package. Okay, here's everything you're going to get in the package. First of all, there's some information and some warnings. Uh, this talks about the charger part of it. Uh, and you do get a little charger cable, a uh, special kind of magnetic end that goes on here, just like charging up a watch, but it, it attaches there. I'll show you that in a second. And you're going to get a USB-A end to it. Now, it does not come with your own little power brick that you plug it in. That's what this warning is here, is to make sure that you get the right one to plug it so it doesn't, uh, you know, overcharge it and burn this out or whatever whatever, it might have some issues. Uh, so that's what that's about. Uh, you do get some suggestions for the proper sensitivity levels. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more as well. But um, you can set this up where you can be in very quiet environments, normal or very loud environments. You can set the sensitivity of this. Uh, that's kind of what that is there. You are gonna get an instruction uh, manual here for you and it's pretty easy to follow and it's very detailed on um, all the different settings what comes with it um, there's different modes power settings uh, things like that and how to test it to make sure it's working uh, those kind of things I'm going to talk about those anyway so I'm going to just put this to the side and, and we're going to go into more details anyhow um, inside of this, you're also going to get, these are a package of little uh, rubber caps which go over the um, electrode sensors. So if you want to put this on there to uh, just protect a little bit, you can do that. They also have two different size of these electrodes, uh, longer ones and shorter ones. And this here is a, actually a multi-function. You have a little tool here, which is a little hex tool, and that's used to take these on and off. But it's also a testing tool, which I will show you more details of that as well when I talk about the collar. So yeah, like I got dog hair on this already because uh, my dog was wearing it uh, uh, today. We did a little test on it. Um, so I'm gonna talk about this here in just a minute. Let's take those aside. Again, the charger, it goes right here on the bottom, uh, the back side. It only goes on one way, it just snaps right in, just like that, and you plug it in to charge it. And when you do charge it, little lights will come on that you're charging, it'll be red, uh, a little too on this side, and it turns green when it's ready to go. Now, the bark collar itself, uh, it is completely adjustable. You can see I even have some extra uh, length on her on my dog. My dog is a kind of a beagle mix. So he's about a medium size, about 35 pounds. Um, but you can make this uh, really short. You just have a lot of this left over. You can probably cut it off if you need to. Or make it bigger for bigger dogs. Has a nice plastic snap on it. So once you adjust it, easy to get on and off. No problem whatsoever there. And then here on the back side, uh, if you can see this good enough, it's kind of hard when it's all black, but there's a power button and a mode button. And then you have your two electrode sensors. That's the charging. And then you have a speaker and a microphone. So now the microphone picks up the bark because this is a bark collar. Uh, and the speaker is for the noise because there's three settings in this. You can, you can have an audible uh, tone. You can have a vibrate. You can have the tone and vibrate. And you can have the tone vibrate and the shock part of it here. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you if when we turn this on. <clears throat> let's get the power button. You hold it down for a couple seconds. It turns on. Um, I don't know if you could see the indicators on here. I have my studio lights on pretty good, um, but there's a, an audible and vibrate. Let me get that mode button here. So now, now here you can see, I don't know if you can see it. So again, it's hard to see. I apologize because the lights and the angles and stuff. But there's a, that's just beep. That's just vibrate. That's beep and vibrate. Beep, vibrate, and shock. So this, the mode button controls all that and you can go back. So you can adjust it to do all kinds of things. And then you've got a battery indicator, uh, your little dog indicator for sensitivity. Now, if you hit the power button, it, the sensitivity goes from the zeros for testing. I'll show you that here in a second. 
but then there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now, um, the five is the most sensitive. So what that means is if, if you're, um, you know, in a, in a quiet environment, there's not a lot going on, you put it there. If you're around a bunch of noise and so forth that might interfere with the dog's barking part, you take it down to one. Um, and then the zero is a test. It's a testing um, part. So let's, let's get back down to zero. And if I bark, woof, woof. There you go. You heard the beep, and it vibrated. It vibrated in my hands. Now you can't hear a vibration unless I maybe I put it down on the on the the ground here. Let's try that again. Woof. There you go. And the more times that it happens, the louder it gets, and the more the vibration. So it starts off low. But if the dog keeps barking, it goes up a notch, and then it goes up a notch, and it goes up a notch. Uh, kind of like hey. Guy, buddy, that's my dog's name, buddy. Hey, buddy, um, it's it's time to knock it off. Um, so that's how that that works, and it, it automatically resets back to five, the most sensitive uh, mode on there. Um, now, if we come over to, oh, let's go back to zero, and let's go ahead and turn the electrode on. Now, with that, what this is is this is a little test here. I'm going to put these two on here, and I'm going to bark. Woof! See the light? If you saw it flash, that means the electrodes were working. So it gave a loud beep and a, um, a vibrate and an electrode. Woof! Woof! There you go. So now I can tell that this is working. I was able to feel the vibration, hear that, and uh, I didn't put my fingers on the shock part. I, I just did it this way. Uh, if you really want to find out how much of the shocks, well, you're going to just go ahead and put your fingers on it. Uh, I haven't done that. <laughs> um, but it's designed not to hurt the dogs. It's just a, a little bit of a, a shock. Now, they say that it may startle them the first time you do it. Uh, it would startle me as well. Um, but it's designed not to... It's not going to, you know, deliver a lethal shock, you know, to your to your dog. It's 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 a it's a mild as minor just to give them an idea that hey, that that what you just did shouldn't happen on here. Um, so very simple. That's how it works. You see there's a little green flashing light on here. That's just show that it's on and it's ready to go. Uh, very simple, very easy to do. Um, now I'm going to talk about kind of my experience with it. Oh yeah, and to turn it off, you just have to press and hold it on the power button until it beeps and you turn it off. So I just go ahead and turn this off here. Okay, well I did test this out today. We took my dog to the park and my dog has a thing with other dogs. He does not like other dogs whatsoever. He's good with people, not other dogs. So he barks a lot. <laughs> well, we had this on him, and um, we were actually in the car, and I was dropping my mom off at a meeting, and someone came up to a window, her friend, and uh, Buddy, my dog, uh, let out a bark um, just because he gets excited, and that's what he did. And this thing beeped, and it vibrated. I did not put it on the shock, okay? So I just did the beep and vibrate. And when he d heard that and felt that, he stopped. He was like, oh, what was that? You know, um, I'm like, oh, okay. That was that was the first time we both experienced that. And he stopped barking. Um, now, at the park, we didn't see any dogs. It was really hot out here. But we did see a bunny rabbit. There's a lot of jackrabbits and bunny rabbits running across the trail that we go walk in. Uh, so he did see that. He likes to go, wants to go play with the bunnies. And he gave out a little bark. And again, just the audible beep and the vibrate the very first time, he stopped. He's like, oh, hey. That's not good. He didn't like that. Again, no shock at all. But it seems to work <laughs> pretty well. But again, we didn't see any other dogs where he usually goes ape crazy, if you know what I'm talking about. But um, it seemed to work pretty well just with the beep and the vibrate. But if you're going to need a little bit more than that, then there's a little bit of shock on there. So uh, I, it worked great. I think it's good. We're going to uh, continue on with this with my dog to see if we can help train him to not bark there. Now, there are some times you do want your dog to bark. Like if we're at home and someone comes to the door, I want him to bark during that time. I want him to let us know that somebody's there. And I want to let them know 
that we have a dog inside the house. So, so they do advise that you only only use this when you do not want your dog to bark. Um, now, my dog is not a a constant barker, especially if we are home, and we rarely leave him outside by himself. He does a little whining and barking. So next time we leave by ourselves, uh, have to leave him out in the back for a little while. We're going to put this on there and see if that helps. I have some cameras in the back. We can keep an eye on him uh, on that. But um, but he's usually a pretty good dog. And again, uh, you only want to use this when you really don't want your uh, your dog to bark in that case. But uh, anyhow, if you're looking for a nice little dog collar thing here, this one may be the right one for you.